Hey, so I just uh, ancient orbed another mage blood, uh, which is pretty sweet. Happy with that. Second mage blood ancient orb of the league. Um, third uh, mage blood I've acquired, even though one was only acquired briefly as I rolled over it. <laughs> uh, this one I picked up off the ground. I also have this heat hunter, which I got from the fiend cards. I had to drop and then. Um, just gambled them up to 11 and turned it in. I've also had two headhunters drop on the ground this league as well. So that's three mage bloods and three headhunters I've acquired this league. Um, I also had an apothecary drop and uh, gambled that away. So I'm up two mage bloods and I'm up three headhunters, but I'm down 1.2 mage bloods. You know, so that's a that's a net of like four. 4.8 T0 belts. <laughs> Plus 4.8 T0 belts. Which is good, you know, happy with that. But um, I thought I'd, I'd take this time to do a bit of an update on my league. Uh, so I'm doing this body swap build. It's going well. Um, probably might sell my Mage Blood so I can get some voices for it. Uh, pretty happy with the build. It uh, you know, spazzes out, does its thing. And you just blink around everywhere. It's actually like a lot better than I thought it would be. So I'm really happy with it. I'm going to try kill Libras with it. I can't kill Maven with it though. Uh, as you can't control where you blinked so much. Because it just blinks on the, where the zombie spawns. So the brain part of the Maven. You just blink into the beam and die. You know. So I won't do that. But other fights are possible. So we'll see how we go with that. Uh, Bone Chat is going uh, good. I haven't really touched the character much. But... Every time I get a Voldo's map that looks hard, I'll just do log in the Bone Chatter and smash it. So that's good. Uh, and also the Trickster's still good as well. Still need to finish that build. But yeah, I thought I'd just do this brief update to tell you where I'm at. Um, just been farming Harbingers. That's all I do, pretty much. Uh, Harbingers uh, just give me Mage Bloods. Uh, it's actually my strat. <laughs> I haven't really said it, but what I do every league is I... Log in, I do some like Alchem Go strat. So, this league I did uh, Ein Half for a bit, which is how I got the first Heat Hunter. And then I did uh, Ritual, uh, not Ritual, I did Expedition plus Blight together, uh, which is what really um, boosted my income so I could afford uh, to the Harbinger Scarabs, which were expensive at the time, until I could get my character to a level where I could like juice the Harbinger maps enough where it could, you know, it would self-sustain. Um, well, more than self-sustain, obviously, but yeah. It was, you kind of sort of need a step. Because with Harbinger maps now, you need to have like a pretty, just a normal atlas everyone has pretty much now, uh, where you just uh, get all the explicit modifier boosting. There's my atlas tree at the moment. We have all these boosting, so it makes, makes the map uh, a lot harder. And also gives you more profit because you you know get a lot of drops off the off the rares that you wouldn't that the harbinger spawn because harbinger spawn so many rares. Uh, I'm using two harbinger scarabs uh, plus an obelisk scarab plus a uh, regency scarab and uh, double horde scarab. So this is my setup. That's what I use there. Yeah, it's uh, pretty chill. I haven't really done any testing on Harbingers this league. I did a whole bunch of testing at the end of last league, but then they completely changed, obviously, with Obelisk Scarab, like, what? <laughs> so that was just, like, a waste of time. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So there's a bit of argument to have, like, two Harbinger Scarabs instead of the Obelisk Scarab. Either way is fine, I think. I prefer the Obelisk Scarab because my character just kills Obelisks immediately, pretty much, on arrival. And so, like, I can just kill them while they're hub to spawn. So I think it probably is a bit a bit better than killing another three harbingers. Uh, having the extra four obelisks per, I think it's four, per harbinger. I think uh, it's just more efficient because if you're killing another three harbingers, you usually have to wait around for another three harbingers to, sp to spawn all their dudes. Um, well, depending on how many overlap, obviously, but... Uh, whereas obelisks, you can kill them as the harbingers are spawning their dudes. That's my theory behind it. I don't know what the real um, 
I did per hour is difference wise. Uh, but that's just my feeling on it. I've tried it both ways. At the start, I hated these obelisk scarabs, so I just do it this way. Um, but then I got a fracturing orb drop from an obelisk, and I was like, okay, well, maybe they'll, maybe they're worth it. And I think they're, yeah. But yeah, it's just whatever you prefer, to be honest. But yeah, this is my strat here. Just this strategy and this tree here. Um, just have a lot of maps, nodes allocated. It seems like map drops seem a little bit scarcer. I know Harbingers have like a negative 60% map drop rate, so that might be why why that um that um, I'm getting affected by that. But it's always good to have extra maps so you can feed them to your mappers. In King's March. Um, but yeah, that's just uh, an update on my league. Uh, thought I'd just after the extra uh, mage blood. Like this has been insane. I've never had a T0 belt drop on the ground. And this league I've had three. So I don't know what's I don't know if they're more common. Uh I don't know if I'm doing something tricky. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But there you go. I think uh, I'm just blessed by Chris Wilson. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you.